was in that totally <laughs> drifted off. <laughs> I'm back too. <laughs> it is a tease, isn't it? <laughs> Daria I invited you back. Please come back. I miss you. <laughs> well, it says waiting for you. I am waiting for you. <laughs> what a tease. <laughs> wow. Whew. says waiting. Let's see, let's try one more time. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> back, back. <laughs> so long distance rope can also be about a whole lot of teasing. <laughs> okay. Oh, technology. You know, the real, the in-person equivalent is like suddenly, you know, the, the kids interrupting. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> right? That's so true. So, In back. My, the cat chasing the tails, the tail ends of the rope. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now, where was I? I was, I was running my fingers and lips all over your body. Now show me all the places that I'm going to trace my fingers, my lips, and my tongue across you. And with your eyes closed. And let's imagine that it's a beautiful full moon night and I have lured you out into the autumn forest. And in this autumn forest with the pungent richness of the soil, and I have created a nest for us of leaves and mushrooms and warm soil. And there's a bonfire nearby and you can hear the crackling of the fire. And there I'm wrapping myself around you with the rope and holding you and squeezing you tightly. And wrap that rope around you like I would be wrapping my arms and my legs and holding you captive in my lair in the forest. <laughs> mm. And I want you to scurry over to that tree, AKA pillar, and I want you to tie one end onto, onto that, that pillar in any way. Just secure one end. And you can, yeah, yeah, you can just run it through there. That's good. See, the rope's already trying to capture you with your dress. Yeah. And I want you to find that end of the rope, the free end of the rope. There we go. And I want you to take that behind your back. There. And Tie it around your waist or your chest, either your choice. And I want you to make sure to cinch with gusto. You know the way that I do. Yeah. Cinch it with gusto. Make sure that you feel me digging my fingers right into you. Good. And one more. Good. And you know where your scissors are. And
and I want you to, you're going to get up now, all beautiful, and I'm going to watch your every move. And I want you to walk as far as you can away from that tether, as if you're going to walk out of my lair, as if you're going to escape. And I want you to walk far away until it's so taut. And now, put your hands, hold your hands behind your back and coil yourself in. I am wrapping the rope around you, around you and around you, tighter and tighter as I'm pulling you into my lair as you're trying to, oh, escape, but you keep being drawn in and, oh, it's tight. And whatever shall you happen to you in this dark forest as you are tied up against this tree, oh, oh no, oh. And let yourself slide down onto your, you can lean up against and slide down onto the mat. And some parts are going to tighten down as you do that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And lean towards me. Give me a kiss. I want you to feel the tightness of that, smell the forest and all the terrible things that are about to happen to you as I sacrifice you to my pleasure all night, all night. And I want to see how you wiggle and oh, and how you fight to stay in the rope. <laughs> yes. And Undo one wrap and throw your leg over that rope. One leg. Hmm, that's a good captive. Now, there we go. Is it hitting just in the right spot? It is. Uh huh. Yeah. Move. And tell me exactly what you're feeling. Feeling very secure. Feeling. Embraced and held and working. <laughs> and on. On your, on your knees now. There we go. <laughs> oh, that ought to be feeling good, doesn't it? And I want you to pulse forward and back. Pulsing forward and back. That's me pulling the rope from behind you. That's me tugging and bouncing the rope behind you. And I am leaning on that tree, watching you. And every wiggle that you make, I'm going to be enjoying it. And that's me bouncing that rope, vibrating it, tormenting. the videos paused oh hello oh <laughs> well done my captive well done <laughs> uh, now now so the evening could go on and on and on multiple devices definitely now Undoing is just as sexy as the doing. 
in your coiled state. Give me your sexiest undo. Show me how you would undress that rope. As, and remember, the rope, my fingers, and my lips. Feel every centimeter of it on your skin, in your body, in your nostrils, the way that it feels. As I crawl across your body, as I caress you, as you undress in my desire. Mm. Pretty ankles, gorgeous legs. And you're still tethered to me. <laughs> ah, beauty. Mm. And so the date goes on, and this would be when I, in a nice long date, the toys would come out. And see, the nice thing about leaving one hand free is that I'm going to make sure that you can get those toys that you're going to be using to season that rope, and then you bet your gorgeousness I'm going to have you package up that rope and then send it right back to me for the next date. Yes, it's a mutual sending. It's a mutual sending. <laughs> so, that's hot. Ooh, yes, it was. I didn't get to say more please, but I, always, I would definitely point say more please, more please. <laughs> so, dear viewers, does that give you some ideas on long distance rope? Let me just mess with the light here. <laughs> here we go. Ah. I'm just gonna keep this on for a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'd like that. I would like that a lot if you kept it on a bit. <laughs> Cause I think now we might be in time for our stories, story half. Yes, and could you kindly explain what the what the challenge was and yes so last week while i enjoy my my time last week we had a little contest for uh three folks to win actually win this beautiful cotton rope that we were discussing and uh our question our our, our inquiry was please write a small short paragraph about why Uh, and it has to be sensual, and it has to be creative, and it has to flow. And we'll pick three, and uh, the winners will get this beautiful, like the rope. Um, mm -hmm. Our winners, I unfortunately can't access them now because I'm using my phone. <laughs> but uh, we picked three of our favorite ones. You guys had such stories. And they were so beautifully written and so coming from a place of the lustful truths. And so three winners that will get they will get a cotton rope and I guess you'll be contacting them? Yes. Uh do you have I I think I have their names but they're on my phone so I don't want to disconnect. Me too. Me too. So, so I remember one is Audrey Ha. Mhm. Mm Another one was uh Chris in Texas. Chris in Texas. Chris, right? And then and then uh, Adore Radish was the third person. Wow, I remembered all three. Well done. Oh, uh, you are tuning in. I think I definitely saw Audrey Ha at the beginning. Um, your stories were incredible. I wish I, we could read them now because they really talked about not only physically how the rope feels and smells, it was very visual, which is the key to you know video chat. You can't, I can't, uh, you can't experience how the rope smells, only I can. 
but when you're doing long distance rope, it's a big part of why rope is so hot. So yay, Abiha! Yes, you won! Congratulations! <laughs> you won, you won! Yeah, and also just how rope makes you feel and why it makes you feel free or sexy or, you know, that, that was the best, best part for me reading those. So. And the nice thing about rope is it's for all bodies, all genders, all orientation. And as you saw, you don't need a lot of technical. Now, somebody mentioned that having a structural pillar may be a limitation. But as I mentioned at the beginning, it could be a bedpost. It could be a door that is doorknob that is latched and secured or if you have a heck of a heavy piece of furniture, like I'm looking at my couch and the couch has a leg and that leg would be a perfect spot for that. So look around for something that would be, you know, if you happen to have a, a structural pillar, great, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, well, a lot of them were comments under some of our previous IG posts, but that's actually a great idea. I definitely will. We'll go through and share some of the really great ones that we found that we were submitted. And maybe you can do a little reading of that in yeah in future yeah. posts. Absolutely yes. So either on Pleasure Chest Story, what you're watching on now, or on my personal Peach Buzz Co-op, I definitely would would be down to read some of the really hot, just like tiny paragraphs of why rope is so hot. Um, they, they were so good. They were so good, and having you read them would be great. Oh, and somebody just said that they have a uh, tree in their backyard, and uh, <laughs> looking forward to the roommate being away. Yes. <laughs> oh, and oh, hey, I know that person. Hello, um, and yeah, you should totally read them. That would be great. Yes, I'm definitely gonna do them sometime mm. next. I will definitely read a few. And then Midori, I know that you have your own book of erotic tales. Oh, I do. I have a couple. I have uh, Silk Threads, which is supernatural action romance in Japan. Amazing. And then I have on the darker side, I have Master Han's Daughter, which is very dark, dark cyberpunk set in a Oh, a, a rather grim Blade Runner like Tokyo. Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, those are uh, obviously Midori. Uh, you uh, heard her talk about our nest in the forest. You can only imagine what ways. <laughs> that was so sweet. I love that little scene of a idea. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad because I. You know, I was actually, it's funny, I was actually cooking, sauteing mushrooms for dinner earlier as I was thinking of this date. Hey! <laughs> and I was eating wild chanterelle mushrooms sauteed in butter. Oh my God. That is what these ropes smell like. Per exactly right. <laughs> um, yeah, for all you ecosexuals out there. <laughs> yep, because... Man, rich soil, the mushrooms, full moon in the forest. Your arms all around me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you trying to escape and <laughs> failing beautifully. Uh, thank you so much, Midori. This was so much fun. Thank you to everyone who is tuning in. Thank you for being patient with all the technical difficulties. Again, just as in real life, sometimes snags happen and then the best thing to do is laugh and continue because it's not realism yeah it's realism real yeah kink is not all seriousness kink is about being i don't know if you heard me laughing maniacally most of that time so <laughs> it's not all serious domly dom it's mm. more more fun and games so well my definition of bdsm is childlike joyous play with adult sexual privilege and cool toys so we were essentially engaging in our two forest beasties uh -huh. <laughs> we were just playing pretend that's right and so everyone out there long distance rope absolutely can happen and the preparation is the hot part as well oh waiting just... that rope is the most exciting thing like i sent you something in the mail be on the lookout for it <laughs> we'll be making a date around that Oh, and somebody said, thank you for sharing this. Gives me so many great ideas. Uh, thank you and, so Yeah, all fun and games. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Uh, we will definitely be back uh, soon. Pleasure Chest is doing, we're trying to do every other Wednesday. 
fun classes like this. This is the most fun by far. Uh, I'm really excited for more, but I'm sure we'll see you in the future in one of these. So yes, very exciting. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Bahar. Uh, I'm here at the Pleasure Chest in the Upper East Side. Please come through. We're open. If you want to grab any of Midori's books, we carry most. We carry the Japanese, uh, the Central Japanese Bondage, um, as well as Wild Side erotic tales and things like that. So just please come by, pick up rope, pick up books, pick up anything else you might need uh, for your date. We're here Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 8. And folks, if you want more of my classes, please come by my Patreon in patreon.com forward slash Planet Midori. I have a bunch of classes. I've got an office hour coming up, so you can come join me live in office hours for a full hour, and I'll answer any of your questions. Oh, yeah, I started the TikTok thing, too. Oh, my. What'd you say? I said I started TikTok. Oh, no. But yes. Patreon's where you all find me, okay? Great. Thank you so much. Have a sweet, sweet oh. night. So fun playing with you, Midori. Thank you. Expect some emojis soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yay.